Uh, we're here at the Glen Hotel in, uh, in Queensland. Uh, we've just got a, an Apricus uh, solar thermal uh, electric boosted system which has just been commissioned. I just wanted to show you through the controller and show you how efficient the, uh, the evacuated tube technology really is. So I'll show you the controller. Um, it's, it's a bit hard to see, but we can see there we've got a, a collector temperature of around about 69.1 degrees. I'll take it to the bottom of the tanks, which are, uh, are just coming up now. We've got 45 degrees. Uh, we've got 63 in the top of the tanks. Um, now, this is, that's for the solar preheat, so um, I'll, I'll show you through that in a minute. But I'll just show you the, uh, the day we've got. It's, it's fairly overcast. As you can see, we've got filtered sunlight coming through. And I'll just show you through to the collector field. So it's a fairly extensive field. We've got a, uh, a large accommodation block. So there's the uh, the collector field facing uh, slightly northwest. Again, we can see that the sun's fairly fairly well shaded, uh, and we're still pulling some good temperature off the uh, the Africa solar hot water system. So I'll show you through the tanks. So we've got three 250-litre stainless steel uh, multiple multi-element tanks, and what these tanks are doing is basically they are preheating the water, so boosting the water before it goes into the building. So we've got a um, we've got a Wilo ring main system, which is the flow and return. It reticulates the hot water around the building from the uh, from the electric storage tanks, the primary tanks, and those primary tanks are preheated from the apricus storage um, system as you see there. So there's uh, 10 storage tanks, uh, 400 litres, and our, and our collector fields dumping water, preheated water, into these vessels before they go through the primaries. So uh, the sun's actually just starting to break through now, so we'll start to see a bit of a, an increase in temperature. So as you can see, it's a large system. Um, we, we, we're, off, we, we're thinking we're going to offset around about 75 to 80 percent of the, uh, the client's requirements, which of course equals a, um, a very good dollar saving. So it's a, um, it's a very good uh, uh, system for, for the application. So obviously with, with any sort of accommodation block, there's high usage in the mornings and the afternoons. The aim of the game is to, to ensure that we've got enough stored water in our solar preheats. To um, so we so our so our uh, electric uh, uh, primary system is not not doing all the work. So that's the only game. So we should theoretically get two two lots of uh, sharing out of the solar alone, with with very minimal backup uh, and boosting from the electric. So I'll just I'll walk you through the um, through the uh, collector field from the um, from the front. As you can see, the sun's now started to shine on the uh, on the solar array. Now, even even when the sun was was hidden behind the clouds, we are still getting UV penetrating the clouds and being absorbed by the uh, by the evacuated tubes. So again, you can see that there's even though we haven't got a huge amount of sunlight, we're getting really good solar. The radiation picked up by those collectors, and that's just being passed through a uh, an equal flow um, flow and return system, piped right back to the tanks, and then um, used to preheat our primaries. So very simple little system. Um, Apricus uh, design and construct. So we, um, we engineer the solution for the client's application. Um, talk to you soon.